Welcome back to Cruise Man's Garage Base Camp Tutorials. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can add in waypoints for fuel stops, and we're going to also show you some pretty cool time features that are built into uh, your base camp routes. So let's take a look at our route by clicking on the route in the list menu over here, Home to Hot Springs, which is what we're seeing on the screen right now. Now let's double click on this to open up the route window. I'm going to move it just a little bit. Let's take a look at directions and what we want to do is find a good place to refuel uh, my particular motorcycle. It could probably go 230, 240 miles before fueling up, but how do I know where to stop for fuel and make sure that there's fuel available? Well, I'm going to stretch this window out here a little bit. I'm using the pointer tool to do this. And if I begin scrolling down through these directions, this is showing me every direction that the GPS is going to give me to get to my destination. But I can see the total distance traveled right here. And if I scroll down, I am more comfortable getting fuel at about 150 to 190 miles. The reason is because after 150 miles, I'm really kind of ready to get off the bike and walk around. And as you can see here, that's three hours and 16 minutes. So if I select 153 miles as my point that I want to get fuel, you'll see that it shows the marker here on the screen. So what I want to do is I'd like to find a fuel stop near that 153 mile mark. Now I'm going to shrink this window back down. So to do that, I'm going to grab my magnification tool and I'm going to zoom in on this area right here. And let's see what's in this area. Okay, good news. You can see this little gray shaded area. That usually indicates a town or a city. So that tells me there's probably going to be fuel near this 153 mile mark. Now, just for grins, I'm going to come down here into my little panel and I'm going to increase my details all the way full. That lets me see all the icons for the businesses in this town. And I'm going to zoom in yet again on this little section right here. We're really going to zoom into this town. I want to see what's here. Okay, now you can start seeing the icons show up for all the little businesses, restaurants, grocery stores, and of course, gas stations. The gas stations use a little fuel pump icon. So this is going to help me find a place to get gas. I'm going to select my little pointer tool again, and if I hold that pointer tool over these icons, it will show me what the business is. This is a food store that obviously sells gas. If I look over here as I'm coming into town on this highway, this is a FINA station. FINA is a good fuel. There's another problem with that. This one over here, a little further as we're coming into town, is Valero. I personally don't like Valero fuel, so I don't want to stop there. So I can just keep on looking down this road and see which fuel stop I want to stop at. That's another Valero. You know, I think I'm just going to stick with Fina, and I want to add this gas station to our route as a waypoint. Now, I'm just going to basically click on it. And I will get the option to create a waypoint. If I click on FINA, here you can see all the details. It actually gives you the address and the phone number if you need it. And we're going to click on the little Create Waypoint. And I'm going to change the name to, it looks like it's actually in Ida Bell, Oklahoma. So I'm going to change the name to FINA Ida Bell. That's just a good name for me to remember. And it already has selected our little gas pump icon, which is nice. Let's uh, close that window. Now let's go back up to our route window and our via points. And we know that we're going to stop for this fuel in between home and the Holiday Inn Express and Hot Springs. So let's drop it in there. And now it's calculating the route. And it now has that added to our route. Now what this is going to do is as we're approaching this town or this area, the GPS, the Garmin GPS, will notify us that we're 
two miles from Fina Idabel or one mile from Fina Idabel. It will alert us to the fact that we're going to be making this stop and let us know ahead of time. It's a really nice feature of the Garmin GPS that it will do that. Now, some other GPSs may notify you of an upcoming waypoint, but they may not tell you the name of the waypoint. Let's take a look at how we can use some of these time settings to our advantage. Let's go back and select home. You'll notice here it says depart on 5.22 at 10.02 a.m. Now, Basecamp just randomly selects this. I don't know where it comes from. Maybe it comes from the current time when you created the route. But you'll notice a couple of little icons over on the right. And we can click on this little clock icon and we can set a date and time. Well, let's say that I'm just for you know, sake of argument, I'm going to go on the 29th of May and I'm going to leave my house at 6 a.m. Okay, now what that does is that's going to change all of my information here. It says now I'm going to arrive at Fina Idabel at 9.14 a.m. And I should arrive at the Holiday Inn at 11.51, or just about noon. What we also need to take into consideration to get an accurate time of arrival in Hot Springs is how long is it going to take us to get fuel in Idabel? Maybe we're going to stretch our legs or have a drink or even a snack, and that takes time. So if we click on Fina Idabel on this particular waypoint, it also has a little clock icon, and if we click that, it shows that our arrival time is 914. And our departure, we can set based on how long we're going to stay here. So let's say we're going to stay here. I'm just going to put in 15 minutes. So I think I can get fuel, have a drink of water, you know, make a bathroom break, whatever, in 15 minutes. So now that is figured into our arrival time in Hot Springs, which is now 12.06. And you can see how you can use this same concept if you're going to stop for lunch along the way or maybe sightseeing at the border or whatever. You can kind of estimate the amount of time that stop's going to take and that will calculate and figure into your overall trip time. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Uh, if you did, please give me a big thumbs up and click the subscribe button down below. Thanks again for joining us on Cruise Man's Garage.